Good morning, folks. If you've been with us a while, you understand why we lead with this story. I favor the hypothesis that methane plays a paramount role in extinction events, something you can learn a bit more about with the links I've provided below the video. Coming over to the RSOE and taking us south to where a remote volcano is believed to be waking up based on satellite images, had some four-pointers rocking the northern Yukon, and despite waking up yesterday with a 6.6 off Costa Rica, the most concerning quake was in the Cayman Islands. Never seen a quake there over 2.9, none at all in months. Caribbean and Cocos Plates have had our attention since November. Four tropical storms on Earth. Cyclone Merjan is headed for northeast Africa as a weaker cell. Tony appears to have lost his compass in the Atlantic. Here, Sontine headed for Vietnam. The most powerful storm on the planet is Hurricane Sandy headed north from the Caribbean. We're not yet certain the U.S. coast is out of harm's way. Northern Europe can expect some colder temperatures as an arctic low encroaches your airspace. When you see the cloud movement, it's no surprise where all the rain is expected the next 24 hours. Most of Australia has been very hot while yesterday's cold front swept the southern region and has now got New Zealand back fully in the Antarctic low. Can expect some rain on the way there, same for central Australia where the northern moisture meets the dry air. Looking at the US, two high pressure systems, top left, bottom right, surging wind towards the central low, say it with me, that's where our severe weather watch zone is tonight. Brief multi-frequency inductions visible here on this magnetometer, nothing on the solar wind, Nothing on the Rio meter or other magnetometers. No flares. We've seen this before. Space weather without space weather. The ESA may have an explanation. Solar wind affects us much more than we realized, and this could be the cause of all these plasma penetrations and magnetometer readings that I can't seem to explain via solar wind or the energetic surges. Very good article from the European Agency here. Earth footprint is top right, technically just over the limb on the far side. That's where you see most of these interplanetary magnetic connections with the other four spread about the Earth-facing sunspots. Primary active region is still 11598 on the southeast. It may be decaying, but we do still have both polarities, blue and red, mixing to form a delta spot at the rear of the active region. Dark coronal holes top and bottom. They pump out fast solar wind and are essentially ultramagnetic regions that take turns facing out into the system. They intensify the quake watch which is peaking now primarily due to today's Saturn alignment which has heliocentric and geocentric significance. Things aren't set to slow down either as you can see. Lastly, in addition to the holes and flares, that thin dark line next to the hole is a plasma filament. When they produce hydroflare eruptions they can be worse than flares. Eyes open, no fear. 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.